Hey my FPV friends, today a new video, a new drone. We will test and unbox the Recon 5 Lite. So let's directly dive into the topic and see what's in the box. Okay, nice packaging. We have some 5 inch props because it's a 5 inch drone from HQ Props. Then some wishes say flight. Okay, thank you, we will fly safe, of course, and even more because this is a sub 250 gram drone. Another fly safe card. Okay, no worries. And we have on the back, let me grab it. We have on the back of the card, the prop direction, so I'm really beginner friendly. Then we have some screws here screws for attaching the props and really cool we have stickers so recon fpv stickers the brand is hglrc and here is the drone so you can already see that it's an x-frame drone and it has the dji 04 on board so let's take it out of this nice box. Okay, really well packaged. Oh, and I just dropped the additional battery strap, so that's cool. And here is the drone. So five inch drone, but really small. Look the size of my hand. So five inch drone in a really small frame with the DJI 04 uh, XT30 um, connector. So it's powered by 4S batteries and we have these nice motors. So we have here 1804 for the size and 3500 kV. So yeah, quite powerful motors. Um, let's see if it's a long range drone because on the package they say, so I hope you can see it, Recon FPV built for long range, X-Frame. It looks more like a racing drone, you know, but uh, yeah, I think with a big LiPo or Lion, you can go up to 20 to 30 minutes flight time, they said. So yeah, it looks like a five inch freestyle X-Frame or racing or even more a long range depending on the battery you use but what's more important it's that if you use a lightweight battery you can have a five inch drone that is less than 250 grams which means that you can fly it almost everywhere and what i have for a receiver since i am a crossfire uh, pilot I have the tbs immortal t so crossfire protocol and I fly it with the TBS Tongo 2. And this is really cool for long range. You can have a look to the motors. Nice motors. I like the, the design, green and steel design. And you have a all-in-one board. So AIO board. And yeah, that's it. You have the DJI 04 Pro here for great footage look at the design here we have the capacitor integrated to the frame right above the xt30 and for the test flight we will test it just look my box my military box for my lipo so that they don't burn my home we will fly it with two different lipos so the first one is a Tattoo R-Line 750 milliamp hour 4S with a XT30 connector, 95C. So we have more punch here. And with this, uh, with this LiPo, the drone weights 300 grams. But with the other one, which is lightweight, it's a uh, high voltage LiPo. 650 milliamp hour 4S from Gap RC 90C. We are right 
below 250 grams. So that's great. With this battery, I can fly it almost everywhere. And we will test how it flies with these two batteries. Is it a long range drone? Is it a freestyle drone? Is it a racing drone? Let me know in the comment what you think about it. At least we will try to answer this question in this video. So stay tuned. So first step is to put the props on the motors. And since we have some special props, we need to screw them on the motors with these um, screws that are provided with the drone. So two screws per motor. So now that the, the props are screwed on the, the drone, you can see the final size of the drone. And as a comparison, here is my regular five inch drone, which is a Dead Cat Gepersi Mark V and which weights almost one kilo with the battery and the camera on it. So the, the action cam and this one is much smaller. Let's arm the drone. Oh, you really feel that it's lightweight and it doesn't make a lot of noise. Huh? I really like the feeling. I am like at 20% throttle, but it flies really well. I'm flying with the um, high voltage LiPo. Let's do some acro. Easy, no problem at all. Wow, this is amazing. I cannot hear it. It's really silent. That's great. This is a, a go drone for, I mean, when going to, to places where you cannot really fly drones, like big drones, the only thing that is annoying me is the props in the view. So yeah, that's a bit sad, but otherwise it's a great drone, great connection. TBS Crossfire is the best. Let's explore a bit here. Yeah, no problem at all. But I think this battery is, is small because the motors are quite big and they draw a lot of power. So yeah, I'm already at 3.70 volts per cell. I'm not flying crazy. Low battery warning, yeah. 3.6 volts per cell, two minutes of flight time. No, no, maybe the battery was not fully charged, but yeah, the feeling is great. I love how it flies. The feeling is like flying a small, tiny hoop, but with the power of a five inch drone. So this is amazing. Close to the ground. Yeah. No battery warning. Yeah. A little bit prop wash here, but not that much. Still 3.6 volts per cell and three minutes of flight time. Let's explore there a bit, the forest. Okay, we'll see if it holds the connection. I will come back a bit because I don't have a lot of battery left. But you see, there I always lose connection because I'm, um, it's a bit hidden. I don't have a visual line of sight, so that's the, the worst thing, the thing you want to avoid when you, you are flying FPV drones. Yeah. Let's see if we can reach four minutes. I think we can. 
Let's do some orbits here. But you see, it's really silent, huh? And really precise. So I flew between my camera and myself here, and I wasn't scared at all. But yeah, with my five inch, would be a bit more dangerous. Let's try to land on the pad. What? So let's arm the drone and let's go with the battery on the tattoo all line battery. Let's do a power loop. Yeah. But I think this drone needs bigger batteries. So we won't be under 250 grams. It will feel a bit heavier, but I think you will get more flight time because the trade-off is always uh, a bigger battery for more flight time. But the issue is that you will have more weight added to the drone and this will reduce your flight time. So you have to try to find the right balance. But yeah, it's a, a nice small freestyle drone for me because for long range you will need a bigger drone for, to put bigger batteries and to also resist wind. And this will definitely not resist wind. And for racing, I think it's good to train a bit racing, but definitely it's not fast enough to race. But yeah, really cool drone. And as I said, this drone is great when I go to mountains and there are like people hiking and I don't want to annoy them with my, my five inch drone. So I can take this one and fly like a five inch drone, but in a smaller body, lighter and with less risk. And the props, you know, you don't see them a lot since they are like dark transparent. I fly behind myself, hope the connection will be good enough. Let's explore a bit. I don't have a lot of battery left, so I go really slow. So we have a tractor there. And today there is almost no wind. So it's perfect for this drone. But you see, really stable, well tuned also. I like the tune. I'm here. And yeah, the link, the RC link, crossfire link was really strong. Nothing to say. But that's the, the same. I have the same antenna and receiver on my Pavo 20 and it can go really far away. The only issue is that the battery won't last long. So <laughs> that's the, the biggest issue. You have to have the possibility to put a battery that can, that the drone can, can lift. But I'm already at 4.4 minutes of flight time, light flight. I'm not um, pushing the drone too much because I also have these zip ties and I don't want that they end up in the... Ah, here a little bit of prop wash you saw, but that's not dramatic. Let's do a small landing here. 
but you, you see it's really quiet and you don't see the props a lot. Perfect. So yeah, it's almost dark here, almost night. We did the two tests, five, five to six minutes with the, the bigger battery. But you know, you can put a 4000 milliamp hour battery and fly up to 30 minutes with this small drone. The issue is that if there is a little bit of wind, I think it won't handle wind, strong winds. But don't forget, it's a five inch drone and it's great. The only issue is the props in the view and that you cannot adjust the camera. Otherwise, this drone is a beast. I love it. And I think I will use it like my go-to drone when we have people around and I want, I still want to fly and with restricted areas, like 250 grams areas, I can fly it like three to four minutes with the small battery and it's great. So let me know if you liked the video and if you think that this is a, a uh, racing drone or a freestyle drone or a long range drone or the three at the same time. Let me know in the comment and don't hesitate to drop a like and follow for more unboxings, tutorials and more about drones. See you soon.